Hi, my name is Kate McMahon, and I'm the host today of What's Happening. And I'm very excited to introduce to you Lisa McNeil and Lisa Malcolm. They are both commissioners of Cape Cod and the Islands Commission on the Status of Women. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm really looking forward to learning more about the commission as well as learning about an event that you are hosting on Saturday, April 13th. Mm -hmm. So if we could, can you share with us a little bit about what the commission does, how folks are appointed to the commission, and the roles that you both play? Lisa, you sure. want to start? Sure. Um, the Cape Cod and Islands Commission on the Status of Women, also known as the Commission, um, is one of 11 regional commissions um, that are all volunteer run and organized, mm -hmm. but appointed by the state um, to really, our mission is to be a permanent and effective voice for women in our region. So that's a, a big mission. Yes. And we do that by um, collecting data, analyzing data, um, gathering information from women about the needs that they're facing um, on the Cape and islands, mm -hmm. um, we're looking at legislation that's coming up um, that can help to support some of those needs, um, and also reaching out to other groups and seeing how we can partner. That's a big mission. <laughs> Especially for all volunteers. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. But a wonderful one. Yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's very exciting. We really want to bring the needs of the women on the Cape up to the state house level and try to advocate for, um, for those needs to be met in some way through legislation. And, right. and, so it's a big yeah. population that you have to talk to, to here on the Cape. And uh, mm -hmm. we were talking a little bit earlier that you all had a survey that was sent out a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Can you share with me a little bit more about that? Right. In 2017, um, the commission did a survey over the internet, and I, I believe it was about 700 women that responded. And in addition to that, we also did a hearing last year, and um, the state commission came down and did a second hearing. So out of those things, the top two areas of need that really came to light were housing and um, medical care medical access, particularly for mental health, substance abuse issues, and women's reproductive needs, and in general, women's health care. So we're trying to add to that um, by the effort we're doing on April 13th. That's great. Um, well, thank you for any advocating you can do for the housing situation here mm -hmm. on the Cape, as well as health care. Yeah. Well, and those really are two huge issues that we know are important in our region and across the country. Um, one of the, you know, we felt like those were good steps in 2017 and then 2018 to get a, a lot of information um, through the survey and through the public hearings. Um, we did, you know, in analyzing the data, realize that we were reaching a certain segment of po our population. Mm -hmm. So we, we did a lot of planning last year in 2018, and one of our goals coming out of that planning was um, a working group that we both sit on, hearing more voices and reaching more women. And that group is really, tr is really um, focused on meeting women where they are mm -hmm. and getting information to sort of fill out the survey data and the public hearing information. Mm -hmm. That's great, because not everyone has the time or the ability to get to a hearing. Right. right. Access, easy access to the internet or even learning about the survey. Right. And I'm assuming that these uh, listening circles will be smaller groups, which will make it maybe more intimate or comfortable for women to speak. Yes, that is the goal. We're trying to limit the groups to no more than 40 people so that people will be more comfortable. And in the one that we're doing on April 13th, we are, in fact, breaking that group up into even smaller groups. Um, we're focusing really on trying to reach the immigrant population that we might have missed 
in the things that we tried before, in particular the Spanish and Portuguese speaking communities, as well as any English speaking people that might come out. So we have interpreters in Spanish, Portuguese, and then we're gonna have an English group and they will all meet in those groups and be able to, to share their needs with the help of interpreters. That's great. Yeah. That's absolutely wonderful. Now, is this the first listening group that you have done? This is the first small group that we did, and we do hope to have other groups as well for populations that we missed or felt didn't really get to participate in the hearing or the survey later on down the line, but this is the first one. That's great. Well, we're happy to help you spread the word. Because, Thank you. Yeah, this yeah. is a wonderful, wonderful project that you are working on. So once... Um, you complete this listening group, but do you anticipate having more? Yeah, I, we really are trying to step into that big mission of being a permanent and effective voice for women across the region. And, and how, do you, how do you say that you are representing women and families um, in your region when um, it's we're not as diverse as some populations, yes. some communities, but we still want to make sure that we're, we're um, targeted, uh, hearing from um, different communities within our region. Mm -hmm. So um, we're still talking about what the next group will be, but on the list is the LGBTQ population community, elders, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe younger mm -hmm. girls and women, um, Native American Wampanoag, um, maybe fishing families. Oh, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, so yeah. just any communities that may not have um, participated in the past that, again, we just want to make sure that we're hearing from them and they can be a part of mm -hmm. um, what we are what we, you know, are are taking up as mm -hmm. as Lisa said to to the state house to the state house. Yeah, that's great. So this um, uh, listening circle seems like a, a ton of work, and I'm just curious if you all need help at the commission. If there's anything that our community, our viewers, could do to assist you all, we definitely welcome help. We have actually a couple of volunteers that work at Independence House that are helping us with the event on April 13th. That's and we greatly appreciate their, um, we have a couple of trilingual people from there yeah. that are, have been a, a great help to us. So certainly going forward and trying to reach out to other groups, we would welcome people who are wanting to help us in that endeavor okay. as well. And um, we're hoping to help um, collaborate with some agencies as well if they see a way to fit into the needs that we've identified with the women on the Cape. We would love to hear from them and their interest in participating and collaborating with us too. Great, thank you. So um, the first listening circle is going to be held Saturday, April 13th in Hyannis. Mm -hmm. Now, I also, we were talking earlier that there will be childcare available? Yes, there will be. Um, this event is by registration, so we do ask people to call, and if you want to give the number, we can, uh, we can give that. It's from 1 to 3 on April 13th. There will be childcare. There are going to be a couple of speakers. We have Manny Marrero from Cape Cod Healthcare, who's going to come to speak with us, as well as um, Paul Melville from the Family Resource Center. And they're going to also bring resources that are available to help with mental health and substance abuse access and other resources in the community for people. That sounds great. Yeah. That sounds great. Now, how do folks register? So um, it's by phone. Okay. And for Spanish speakers or Portuguese speakers, they can call Natalia Frois. And her number is 508-771. 6507 extension 246. And I think that's the um, Independence House. Okay. So if people didn't get that. Um, and they could do that in English as well, but they can also call me at 774 994 0047. That sounds great. So that's mm -hmm. not only for registration, but also to learn how they can help the commission, correct? Yes. Yes, Great. absolutely. They could also, um, our vice chair, Tina Gaines, 
uh, vice chair of the commission. Um, her, she's got an email address that she always sends out, and it's um, it sounds long, but it's C C I. CSW mm -hmm. for Cape Cod and Islands Commission on the Status of Women. And then it's Games. Her last name is Games um, at gmail.com. Great, great. Yeah. And we're also linked in on the um, Commission State website too. Oh, great. Yes. Where people can reach us. So for the Massachusetts um, Commission on the Status of Women, we have a link on their website. Great. So if people yeah. want to email, Wonderful. They can do that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll add that um, so folks can see that information. So. Another way to um, see what we're about or to, to see what the State Commission is about is we have open meetings um, on the second Wednesday of every month, except in the summer. Mm -hmm. But um, they, they kind of go around the Cape. So we post those in town halls, mm -hmm. um, but they're from 5 to 7 on the second Wednesday of every month. The other thing that's coming up um, is May 21st, I think oh, yeah. it is, mm -hmm. is Advocacy Day at the State House, and it's a wonderful event. Any women... It's Women's Advocacy Day. It's Women's Advocacy, mm -hmm. Advocacy Day. And it's mm -hmm. just very uplifting and wonderful group of women. Um, there's, you know, the um, representatives come and speak. And then we go out and speak with them about yeah. legislation. But it's really a great day. It's actually a really great opportunity to see what's happening throughout the state with the commissions as well, yeah. because each state commission comes to that event as well and, and gives a summary of what they're doing. Great. Is there anything else we missed that you would like to add? Well, we hope we get a pretty good turnout at this listening circle. We're looking forward to hearing from all the women in the community. Yeah, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. And please register for the uh, first listening circle, which will occur Saturday, April 13th, from 1 to 3 in Hyannis, and child care will be available. And to register, please look at the numbers at the bottom of the screen. And until next time, thanks for watching What's Happening. <laughs>